This is a fluid extractor, and if everything goes correct, I should be able to drain all the oil from the top of the engine without raising the car up, without taking a chance of stripping my oil drain bolt, without making a mess, without making a bigger mess, and it should be the easiest possible way to drain oil from now on. So let's see how it works. So I just got this thing from Harbor Freight. It was actually 99 bucks, and I've actually seen a friend use it, which made me want to go ahead and try to get one myself, and uh, hopefully it works great for me too. But in the box comes the, uh, you know, the pump and three different hoses. Uh, one is very soft. I'm assuming that's like for transmissions and stuff so you have more angle. And these two hard lines, which are very short, but they have these rubber grommets and you can actually put these together. You take this and put it um, inside that one. And then that makes this hose very long and it should be able to fit all the way down the dipstick tube, which will reach the bottom of the oil pan. So let's just try it. Says you put these two together, and that should be one solid seal. And now you got a long hose, and this goes into the top of this, and you should be able to just pump. That's definitely the bottom of the oil pan right there. So as you can see, all my dirty black oil is coming out of there. And you hear it doing stuff. I don't know how long this will take, but I don't have to get on the ground, so that helps. I'm just gonna let it rock. This thing's loud. Does it work? Technically, yes, but uh, E36s take 6.9 liters of oil, so I need to be around here, and uh, I'm still at the very bottom. <laughs> it's been about uh, five minutes now, and again, I do have to keep pumping it every once in a while because you can see air start to get back into the line, so it does work. It's just very, very slow. Now, there is another one. This is the manual pump. Um, they do have some. They would actually hook up an air attachment to it, but... I don't have an air compressor, so I tried this one. Um, I might go get an air compressor and get the other one later in the future, but I just wanna see how this one will work. It will help with other stuff, like uh, I know for the turbo car, um, there's a catch can I gotta drain every once in a while, and that's how I actually got introduced to it, because you actually drain my catch can in like 30 seconds, so yeah, it's better than taking it out and draining it manually, so. It will come in handy at some points, just for draining oil, it's kind of slow. All right, let's just try with one hose and see if it drains faster. That's definitely faster. So it's noticeably faster with one hose. Um, you can actually physically see it moving up now. Um, but I noticed this thing does like to come up and I feel like it probably will be pressurizes better when it stays down So as you can see it's rising to the top right now So I'm gonna try to clamp it down and see if that does something too All right threw a little clamp on there It's filling up now I'm going to walk away and see how long this takes. So hopefully I'll come back and this thing is drained. So the clamp trick didn't work. Eventually I had to go back to pumping and pumping and pumping. I even put the thing back on the floor so it was easier to pump and pump and pump. And I think I got pretty much everything that's in there. However, it's only four liters. So this thing is definitely at the bottom. You can hear it touching the bottom. And when I pump it... Fluid still comes out, but it's like mixed with air. And it's not coming out very fast anymore. It's like basically dripping out. So I feel like I'm at, you know, I feel like this is as far as it's gonna go. Like just little drips here and there, and that's gonna take forever. So anyways, I'm at four liters. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. It's, a, it's like right at this line, which is four liters, which is kind of weird. Now it is possible this thing only had four liters in it. This thing does burn a lot of oil 
and drip a lot of oil and um, at this point who knows I was due for an oil change so that's why I did it and the oil filter housing is actually pretty empty so maybe that is how much oil this thing had in it it's pretty bad but um, yeah we're gonna fill it up now so anyways conclusion does this thing work yes it's just very slow I would definitely opt into getting a one with the air compressor attachment so you can use the air compressor so you don't have to sit there and pump or um, other option is to raise the car get under the car take a chance of stripping your oil pan bolt <laughs> you get it but anyways i just wanted to review this thing it's my first time trying it eh, it was worth a shot and unfortunately they say i can't return it because it is fluids and it's a safety hazard or something so i'm stuck with it now so maybe i'll use it for other stuff but for draining oil you gotta find a better better solution so anyways that's gonna do it just wanted to review this thing and y'all take care Okay, hold on, don't leave yet. A couple more thoughts. First of all, it might have worked better if I warmed the engine up and the oil was hot because I do use thick 1540 and it was cold, but I didn't know how the plastic tube would react to hot oil, so I didn't want it to melt or anything, so that's why I didn't do that. Uh, maybe next time I'll try it, I don't know. Anyways, so stick with me here. I said 6.9 liters to fill up the engine that's not true. I meant 6.9 quarts. 6.9 quarts is 6.5 liters. So we're getting quarts out of here. 6.5 liters is what we need to have a full engine, right? I pulled four liters out. I felt that was empty. I just filled it back up. I put six liters in there and to get it to the level it needs to be. So if it's six and a half liters in there now, I pulled out four. That means there was... I put six in, now it's full at six and a half, so there was still half a liter in the engine, which is, you know, the bubbles and the little drips I was talking about, and I pulled four out, so it means there was four and a half in the engine. So four and a half liters in the engine, that is, um, that's pretty low. That's bad. But it's okay. It's not okay, but it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Anyways, let's go drifting.